Person-Centered Systems Theory, Wikipedia Article Audio The Person-Centered Systems Theory is a multi-level concept for the understanding of processes in psychotherapy, counseling, coaching and clinical psychology under consideration of the interrelation of different levels namely body, psyche, interpersonal and social processes. The concept has been developed by the German psychologist and psychotherapist Jürgen Kriz. Selected Bibliography Person-Centered Systems Theory focuses on the necessity to reduce the incomprehensible complexity of stimuli by means of developing meaningful structures, patterns, and rules in order to create a comprehensibly simple life world. In this context, the question of stability as well as adaptive transition of the patterns is essential. Moreover, the historic perspective plays an important role because it provides the only access to an understanding of cultural patterns of explanation, metaphors, narrations as well as principles of reasoning. Here, Chris introduces the term meaning attractor which he describes as reduction of the vast possibilities of understanding and communication providing certainty and stability while limiting change, adaptation, and creativity. Accordingly, it is an essential objective of person-centered systems theory to explain the effects of psychotherapy and clinical processes in general across various methods and schools of thought. The systems theoretical perspective of the person-centered systems theory refers to the systems theoretical concepts of Gestalt psychology as well as humanistic psychotherapy on the one hand and the relations to modern interdisciplinary systems theory on the other. Contrary to the common systems approach in psychotherapy as in systemic and family therapy, Person-centered systems theory does not primarily focus on patterns of interactions and communication respectively but it takes into account the individual as well as the underlying somatic processes and the cultural embedding of meaning processes. After all, central aspects like sense, mind, meaning or coherence are related to the level of personal processes even if these are substantially affected in their biographical and historical dynamic by social processes. A social system can define and slash or prescribe something as meaningful however, experiencing it as something meaningful is an intrinsic process of that person. According to the model of synergetics, the patterns at each process level can be stable or show phase transitions. The former comes along with the positive aspects of predictability, familiarity, and security, but the negative aspects of rigidity, solidification, and non-adaptation. The latter is experienced as leaving old and inadequate patterns behind in order to reach new and better adapted ones. This has the positive aspects of novelty, creativity, and uniqueness, but the negative aspects of instability, uncertainty, and chaos. In the life course of individuals, couples, families, groups, and organizations, both phases of stability and of pattern transitions are necessary. Many symptoms and problems are related to overstabilization of patterns which have been good solutions to some requirements but are no longer adequate or functional due to the fact that the requirements have changed. The person-centered systems theory describes the systemic effects of communication between humans as well as their interrelations through internal processes in its complex, nonlinear interaction both bottom-up and top-down. Chris provides a comprehensive presentation and discussion of the person-centered systems theory.